Hi everyone, it's Jake from Dishwash Baby, and today we're going to be demoing and comparing the Bugaloo V5 and the Upper Baby Cruise V2. I'm super excited to do this comparison because they do have a lot of similar features in common. However, the Bugaloo V5 is a lot lighter and smaller than the Upper Baby Cruise V2, so it's interesting how those features play out. So let me tell you more about that. The Bugaloo V5 clocks in at 19.6 pounds and has a weight capacity of 37.5 pounds. So that is a bit in the smaller side, while the Upper Baby Cruise V2 weighs 25.5 pounds, so it is a lot heavier than the 19.6 pounds Bugaloo B, but it has a weight capacity of birth to 50 pounds. So again, that weight capacity is a lot higher than the Bugaloo B5. So now let me tell you a little bit more about the features. They both have an adjustable handlebar. And they both adjust pretty high up. Right? That's what I really like about this, these two strollers. So for the Upper Cruise V2, there's a silver function button, a grace function button on the bottom of the handlebar. So I'm just going to pull up. And then for the Bugaboo B5, just going to unhook these two function buttons on either side of the handlebar, pull up, and then lock it back into place. And now these are, they are both at their highest height, and you can tell that the Upper Baby Cruise V2 is a little bit higher up than the Bugaloo V5, but by a little bit, I really do mean a little bit. It's not that noticeable, um, and it's not that big at all. So now I'm just going to put them back to the, a smaller height and lock it back into place. You have to lock the Bugaloo V5 in the height, while the Upper Baby Cruise V2, you can just leave it, and then it automatically locks. So that's a really nice plus. Now, their canopies are really, really different. Let me get started with the Bugaloo B5. The Bugaloo B5 canopy is UPF 50. It does not have peekaboo windows, but it has this little compartment. I'm going to pull. I'm going to unzip, and then it extends the canopy further down. So I really like that, that they have that zip-up compartment that extends the canopy, and it does extend it pretty far down. So now I want to tell you about the Upper Baby Cruise V2 canopy. I really love the Upper Baby Cruise V2 canopy. It's large, it's spacious, and it's really well ventilated. It's UPF 50, and there's a peekaboo window right here. And it just extends about a good length of the canopy. And then, just like the Bugaboo B5, you can extend the canopy by zipping out this hidden panel, pulling it down, and it really extends it nicely and then also reveals another ventilation window that is could double as a peekaboo window. You can really peek at your child through this. I really like that there's two ventilation peekaboo windows. Gives a lot of airflow and it does go down pretty far. So again, here's a, another look from the front. The, I would say the Upper Cruise V2 does go down a little further, but they do both get the job done. They protect your child from those harmful sun rays, which is what's important. Now, in terms of seats, that's when you're really going to see a little bit of a difference. The Upper Baby Cruise V2 is reclinable and reversible, and so is the Bugaboo V5. They're both reclinable and reversible, but they do recline a little differently. Uh, so let me just show you. So as far as the recline, there's a function button in the bottom of but the back of the seat that I'm just going to push, and then I can choose whatever position I want my child to recline in. And then with the Bugaboo V5, it's actually really similar. There's a function button in the back of the seat that I'm just going to pull. And then I can decide what recline I want my child to be in. And then they, the reverse is where you see the difference. So they each have a reverse, so they can be world-facing or parent-facing. The Upper Bay Cruise V2 has two function buttons on the side of the seat that I'm just going to push down. And then I can just switch it around and just slide it back in. But for the purpose of this video, I want it to be world-facing, so I'm just going to change it again. I love how easy that is. The Bugaboo V5 also has a really easy reverse. So with that, you do have to reverse it a little differently. So I have to actually recline it forward. So I just have to pull it forward as much as I can. And then I can just pull it out and reverse it. And then just slide it back in. But for the purpose of the video, I want to keep it actually world facing. So let me just show you. Because they do reverse the same way. So I'm just going to slide it back in. And as 
far as the actual seat, one thing I really do love about the Bugaboo B5 is that the seat depth actually changes so it can really, really accommodate a growing child and it really takes in consideration your child's comfort, so I really like that. However, the, uh, the Upper Baby Cruise V2 also has a really nice feature. They have an adjustable footrest. So when it comes to the adjustable footrest, I'm just going to press down these two function buttons on the side of the footrest, and I can adjust it. And it also gives you easier access to the underseat storage basket, but more on that. And then as far as harnesses go, their harnesses are a lot different. The Upper Baby Cruise V2 has a five-point harness, and so does the Bugaboo B5. However, the Bugaboo B5, the shoulder shafts don't attach to the waist, so you're going to have to connect everything, while everything in the Upper Baby Cruise V2, they each connect, so it's a little bit easier to buckle your child in. Now, they both have a five-point harness, however, the Upper Baby Cruise V2 has a non-rethread harness, which is super easy. If you've ever had a rethread, a non-rethreaded uh, harness, you know how difficult that can be, so I'm a really big fan of the non-rethread harness, so that's just a little thing. And yeah, they're both pretty great. But now I want to turn your attention to the bottom of the stroller. And let's talk about the storage. So the storage is where you're going to see a big, big difference. So the Bugaboo B5 has a storage weight capacity of 8.8 pounds. So it is a smaller storage. The Upper Baby Cruise V2 actually just got updated. Their storage has gotten updated and it has this weight capacity of 30 pounds actually. So again, you can fit a lot more on the Upper Baby Cruise V2, but it is important to note that the Upper Baby Cruise V2 is a lot bigger. Now, I also, while I'm down here, I want to talk a little bit about the wheels. Now, the Bugaboo B5 has beautiful wheels. There are six inch swivel wheels, front swivel wheels. It has all wheel suspension. So again, it's just really, really comfortable and really, really nice. It's a nice, smooth push. Now, that's not saying that the Upper Baby Cruise V2 doesn't have a great push because they have pan pending uh, dual wheel suspension. So again, it's a really nice push as well. They both have really beautiful pushes and they both have all-wheel suspension, so either way, you're going to find that pushing both of these strollers are very, very comfortable. Now, as far as folds go, I would say that the Bugaboo B5 has a beyond easy fold. There's two function buttons on the side of the handlebar, and I'm just gonna push. And it literally folds into itself which is what makes it so unique and so easy to use. But the other Baby Cruise V2 is not slacking when it comes to the fold either because this one has a really simple fold as well. Two function buttons on the side of the handlebar as well. Just gonna pull. And then it actually can stand up but I'm gonna keep it in the down position so you can see how it would fit if it's fitting into your car or anything like that. One thing I do love about the Baby Cruise V2 is that you can always take out the seat and make it even smaller. And I suppose you could probably do that with the Bug Movie 5 as well. So again, they do both fold down pretty, pretty nice. So let me show you how it, I, I would just open them up because the opening is also super easy. So to unfold the Upper Baby Cruise V2, I'm gonna unlock it. And then I'm just gonna pull up. That's all I have to do, which is super easy, super simple. The Bugaboo B5, it's really simple as well. So, I'm going, there's a white function bun right by the foot that actually works as a brake, which is really cool and it's really unique because the Bugaboo B5, it folds and unfolds through the brake. So I'm pressing down on the brake right now. It's just this white function bun in the middle. Super convenient, I really like it. The Upper Baby Cruise V2 has color-coded uh, brakes, just green for go, red for stop, very simple. So I'm really, really impressed by both of these strollers. I think they both serve their purpose. Again, the Bugaboo V5 is a really, really great stroller. It's in a smaller size, so it's a little bit easier to travel with. While the Upper Baby Cruise V2, the features are a little bit more advanced, but again, it's a full-size stroller. It's, a, it's bigger, so you're gonna get those bigger features. Now, as far as price, the Upper Baby Cruise V2 starts at $649.99, while the Bugaboo V5 starts at $699. So they can both be found right here with Pish Posh Baby. If you have any questions or comments, 
please, please, please leave them down in the comment section below. We'll answer them as soon as possible. And like always, please like, subscribe, and have a great day.